Well, hi, everybody, and good Friday to you. Meteorologist Travis Klineski here to kick off our Friday morning. Clouds continue to kind of slowly clear out of here, although you folks in eastern Nebraska have the best chance of seeing some of those clouds linger around for much of the rest of the day. Today could be a mostly cloudy day once again out east. Here in the Tri-Cities area, I'm expecting partly the mostly sunny skies, more sunshine than what we had yesterday. Meanwhile, as you go farther west, you'll actually see an increase in clouds later on in the day and even a chance of rain and thunderstorms moving off the higher elevations. There is a chance that we could see some severe thunderstorms in those areas later on this afternoon into the early evening. But as these progress farther east towards central Nebraska, they should weaken quite a bit, so I'm not expecting much of a severe weather chance. We'll still keep a few showers and isolated thunderstorms in the forecast for central and eastern Nebraska later on tonight. But I guess I said, really not much of a severe weather threat. The same thing goes into the day tomorrow. We'll see a few clouds around. Uh, partly cloudy skies, partly sunny skies, I should say, and uh, maybe a few showers and isolated thunderstorms during the day, but there's really not much of a severe weather threat during the day Saturday. Now, Saturday night, we get a break from most of the precipitation, mostly clear skies, maybe some clouds increasing as we get towards early on Sunday morning there. Uh, but as we get into your day Sunday, we'll start to see increasing chances of rain and thunderstorms, so a better chance more in the afternoon than in the morning. And then they become really widespread Sunday evening and overnight Sunday night. We're looking at widespread rainfall pockets, a heavy rainfall, and some severe weather not out of the question as well as this area of low pressure will be making its way through the area. So we'll have to watch all those uh, chances of severe weather closely, but also maybe some localized flash flooding. This is as far out as my forecast model goes for now here, but some of that could even linger into Monday on the backside of the system. So this would be similar to what we saw Tuesday and Wednesday of this last week here. Tuesday, we saw some storms later in the day, heavy rainfall Tuesday night, and then some lingering rain and thunderstorms around on Wednesday. Sunday, Monday, maybe kind of a similar deal compared to this last Tuesday and Wednesday here. And as for those severe weather chances, they are there. Now, later on today and into this evening, this afternoon, this evening, again, a chance of some severe weather in western and southwest Nebraska. Much better chances just outside of the local four area there in parts of Colorado and western Kansas but not much of a severe weather threat towards the Tri-Cities and points northward and eastward. And again, maybe uh, mainly large hail and damage winds are your main threats. Most of the tornado threat is going to be there in eastern Colorado and parts of western Kansas. Then as we look into Sunday, most of us under a slight risk of severe weather with a marginal threat in far northern northeast portions of Nebraska. But chances even better as you get down to the south in northern Kansas where there's already an enhanced risk of severe weather three days out. So uh, the severe weather threat will higher down there. Uh, not only is the severe weather a threat, again, heavy rainfall possible overnight Sunday night. We'll have to watch all modes of severe weather, especially focusing on wind and hail there as we get towards a Sunday afternoon into Sunday evening. And as I mentioned, some heavy rain is on the way here over the next couple of days, something we'll really need to look forward to and enjoy because again, it looks like things are going to dry out later on next week here. Now, this is just one forecast model that kind of hints at maybe a couple of inches of rain in some spots out there. Models are still all over the place right now, which is expected because we're still three or four days out from this event here. So or I should say two or three days out from this event. So again, uh, it kind of just gives you a, a sense of that there's going to be some decent rain on the way for many of us here, especially again, Sunday night, Monday morning, that's going to be our main chance of rainfall. Well, how about today though? We're going to end the work week on a good note. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, partly to mostly sunny up north. Increasing clouds later on today out west with some late day thunderstorms possible, late afternoon thunderstorms, upper 70s to near 80 degrees. We could see some lower 80s in northern Kansas, mid to upper 70s around uh, south central Nebraska with partly to mostly sunny skies, then partly to mostly cloudy off to the east and maybe a few degrees cooler because of it. Mostly mid 70s, maybe still upper 70s there around Belleville, Kansas. All right, next couple of days here, again, we'll keep the decent temperatures around, maybe a little bit warmer over the weekend with lower and mid 80s. Again, that chance of rain after dark tonight through the day tomorrow, and then by tomorrow evening, I think the chances of rain are gone. Increasing chances of rain during the day Sunday, but really the best chance comes Sunday night into early Monday morning. And uh, then during the day Monday, the chance is a little lower, about a 40% chance during the day on Monday that we could still see some lingering clouds, showers, and storms around. And still not bad temperature-wise on Monday. Then we dry it out on Tuesday. As we try to push back closer to 90 degrees, then the heat really builds in by Wednesday and Thursday. We're back to the mid-90s with a lot more sunshine out there. So it looks like we'll heat things up. We're going to dry things out. And it looks like that heat's going to stick around through the end of the month and into the first part of July. Most forecast models are hinting at the summertime heat sticking around for quite a while. So if you are a fan of the cooler conditions, enjoy it while we have it the next three or four days. Because, again, as I said, things will be changing later on next week. So there you go. There's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Planeski. Hope you all enjoy your Friday and the weekend. 
Have a good one. God bless.